The film story starts with a girl named, Bella, who is 18 years old. She was shifting from, Arizona, to Washington to her father, Charlie. Bella's father was the chief of police in the town. For this reason, she was relocating to her father's home. Because her parents had divorced. And her mother had married for the second time. This is the cause that, Bella, has to move to his father. Now, Bella, reaches his father's house. He also meets with, Jacob, and her father, reaching there. Jacob's father was the good friend of Bella's father. And, Jacob, gifts a truck to, Bella, and he goes to school in the same vehicle. Bella, goes to school and she also makes new friends there. After this, she is taking lunch, sitting with her friends. At the same time, Cullen's family enters there. And there were, Rosalie, Alice, and other people in Cullen's family. Bella's friend tells her about all of them. And she is telling about them. Meanwhile, Edward, appears who is the last member of Cullen family and most charming boy. Bella's friend further tells her, they all are very skeptical. They live with one another and they have not any new friend yet. Neither they have talked with anyone yet nor they have made any friend. After this, Bella, sits with, Edward, in the class of biology. Edward, behaves awkwardly and he leaves away as the class is over. Now, Bella, thinks for the whole day about the awkward behavior of, Edward. And he also thinks to face him on the coming day. But, Edward, does not come to school on the coming day. But he remains absent for many days in the school not only for one day. Now, Bella, begins to wait for him. Then scene moves to a building. Where a man is running in order to rescue his life. But two men kill him after capturing him. After this, the scene shifts to, Bella, and his father leaves, saying to her. That she may not wait for him on dinner time. Because they had to go somewhere for a case where a man has been killed by animals. Now Bella's father is talking about the same man. Who have been seen at the very previous scene. And it is known that. His killers are not anyone else but humans. After this, Bella, goes to school where biology class starts. Bella, is left astonished, witnessing, Edward, seated there. More astonishing thing was this that, Edward, himself talks with, Bella. And there is good link between them. And, Bella, also tells, Edward, the reason to come in the forks. Then, Edward, notices that Edward's eyes color has totally changed. Edward, moves from there after being hesitated. Now, Bella, stands near his truck to return to her house after her school. At the same time, a car is going to hit her. Then, Edward, rescues her, coming there. There has appeared a large dent on the opposite car as, Edward, only stops the car with his hand. Seeing this, Bella, is very shocked. When, Bella, goes to the hospital where she meets with, Mr. Cullen. Who was the stepfather of, Edward. When, Bella, tells him that she has been saved by, Edward. Then he reacts unexpectedly. After this, Bella, notices, Edward, talking with, Cullen, and, Rosalie. Then, Bella, calls, Edward, towards her. And she asks him how he did this. But, Edward, moves away, not accepting anything. Now, Bella, was attracting to, Edward, day by day. But, Edward, was ignoring her. One day, Edward, himself comes to, Bella, at school. And, Bella, invites, Edward, for a beach party. Now, Bella, is waiting for, Edward, at seaside. Meantime, Jacob, comes there along with his friends. Where Jacob's friend says to her that Cullens do not come to the beach. Now, Bella, queries, Jacob, about this. Jacob, tells her that, his family is connected with the wolves. They had seen, Cullens while hunting in this region. But Cullens were different so there was made a pact between Cullens and wolves. According to this agreement, they will not move to wolves area and wolves in Cullens area. Now, Bella, is afraid, hearing all. And he asks, Jacob, about, Edward. What is this? Jacob, tells her that these are all myths. And he changes the topic. Now, Bella, overthinks about Jacob's said words. Then she begins to research on all these matters. Bella, goes for shopping along with her friends. And she goes to a bookshop alone at night in order to purchase a book. At the same time, some boys begin to chase, Bella. Bella, tries to run from those boys but, Edward, approaches there in the meantime. Now, Edward, takes, Bella, with him after protecting her from those evil boys. Now, Bella, again begins to ask the questions from, Edward. 
But, Edward, says to her, he wants to keep himself away from her. But, Bella, needed him so he had come here to help her. Now, Edward, tells, Bella, that he can read the minds. And he can read the minds of every man seated in the restaurant. But he was not getting ability to read the mind of, Bella. So he is so disappointed. And it had never happened before. Edward, says to, Bella, that he is not keeping himself away from, Bella, in spite of his will. Now, Bella, knows after searching while returning to home. That, Edward, is a vampire. Going to the school on next day, Bella, takes, Edward, to a mountain. And she also asks her to face her. Edward, tries to make, Bella, afraid too much at that place. But, Bella, says to, Edward, I know this reality. That you cannot harm me. Later, Edward, takes, Bella, on the top of the mountain. Where Edward's body begin to shine with the throwing rays of sun. Now, Edward, tries to keep, Bella, away from him after scaring her. When, Bella, does not agree then, Edward, tells her that. His family is different from the other vampires. They only suck the blood of the animal. Now, Edward, tells, Bella, that he has waited for her for many centuries. Now his wait is over. Next day, Edward, accompanies, Bella, to school. All people watch them with astonishment. And, Edward, tells his family history to, Bella. How, Mr. Cullen, turned them into the vampires to keep them safe. He tells that they all have the special powers. As he can read the mind. And, Alice, can foresee. Then, Edward, takes, Bella, to his home. Where, Rosalie, does not feel good, seeing, Bella. According to her, family's secret may be revealed because of involving a human being. Edward, takes, Bella, to visit his house, not taking her serious. And, Bella, and, Edward, spend a good time. On the other side, vampire hunting which was increasing day by day. And townsfolk was depressed because of this. On the other side, Edward, comes to the room of, Bella. Where they talk with each other for the whole night. Edward, continues to cast his loving look on, Bella, after her sleeping. Next day, Edward, meets with the father of, Bella. And he takes her with him, taking permission from him. Bella, is watching Cullens while playing the baseball. At the same time, James, Victoria, and, Laurent, appear there. They are the same vampires which are hunting in the forks for a long time. Now they had known the relationship between, Bella, and, Edward. Then, James, starts attacking, Bella, there, and the, Cullens, force them to flee. Edward, informs, Bella, James, is a skilled tracker. He never stops so he will have to be killed. Now, Bella, goes out of the house with, Edward after hurting them in order to rescue her father. Saying this, she is moving to her mother. Now Cullen family plans to protect, Bella. And, Alice, takes, Bella, with her. And all other members are ready for hunting. Now, Rosalie, leaves Bella's jacket and drops sand every place. So, James, may follow her. And they can hunt him. And, James, comes to know about this and he turns his path. Then, James, abducts Bella's mother, taking old address of, Bella. And he asks her to come to him. Reaching there, Bella, comes to know that. Her mother is safe and it was just a trap. James, throws, Bella, far when she tries to escape from there. Due to this Bella's head is hit with a wall. At the same time, Edward appears there. He rescues, Bella, from, James. As being speedy, he reaches there at first. When, Edward, begins to take, Bella, from there then, James, throws her far. Bella, is struck with a mirror and her wound begins to bleed excessively. And, James, bites, Bella. Meanwhile, Edward, keeps her away immediately. Then a great fight occurs between both of them. Then, Cullens, also reach there. They burn, James, to die then, Edward, moves to, Bella. And he extracts the blood of, James, from her wrist. And he stops him of being vampire. And he takes her to the hospital. Coming into senses, Bella, comes to know that her one of the legs is fractured. Jacob, comes to, Bella, when she is recovered. And he asks her to end her relationship with, Edward. After this, Bella, and, Edward, start a romantic dance. And, Edward, rejects to convert, Bella, into vampire. On the other side, Victoria, was keeping an eye on both of them so she may take revenge of, James. When, Bella, reaches at her age of 18 then she dreams on her birthday. 
that she is growing old like her grandmother. And, Edward, is still young and charming. After this, Alice, arranges Bella's birthday party at the house of Cullen's. But Bella's finger begins to bleed there while unwrapping a gift. Seeing this, Edward's cousin does not bear this. So he attacks, Bella, and, Edward, keeps, Bella, away. When, Bella, falls, moving far. Then her arm more bleeds. Then Cullen's ask everyone to leave from there. And he stops Bella wounds bleeding. Now, Mr. Cullen, tells, Bella, dressing her wound. That, Edward, thinks himself as a monster and he understands this. That he will go to the hell so he does not want to turn you into vampire. Bella, again tries to convince, Edward, when he drops her at home. That he may turn her into vampire because he cannot always save her in such a way. But, Edward, does not hear her single word. Next day, Edward, tells, Bella, coming there. That Cullens are leaving Forks and he also asks to end his relationship with her. Because he had a thought as he cannot protect, Bella. And her life will always be in danger because of him. Now, Bella, moves to stop, Edward but he had left from there. Now, Bella, falls on the woods while weeping. On the other side, Bella's father was so worried. But Jacob's friend brings, Bella, there after saving her. Bella's father feels comfort as he glimpses her. So, Bella, was not tolerating the separation of, Edward. And, Bella, also starts to suffer the panic attacks. And, Bella, keeps herself away from others. Now her father was also so upset, witnessing the condition of, Bella. And he again asks to send, Bella, to her mother. But, Bella, forbids her father and she makes him assure that. She will be stable. Then, Bella, goes for recreation with her friend at night. And she notices their same wicked bikers and she reminds this. How, Edward, had rescued her, appearing there. Now she goes with them on their bikes. But, Edward, does not come but she only visualizes him. But, Bella, again comes back to her friend. After this, Bella, wanted to forget, Edward. Now, Bella, goes to, Jacob, and she asks him to repair. Motorcycles after showing this. Now, Jacob, could not forbid, Bella, so he starts repairing the bike. Meanwhile, Jacob's friends appear there and, Bella, begins to spend more time with, Jacob. When bike is repaired then, Bella, goes on bike ride. She again visualizes, Edward, and she falls down, moving ahead. Bella, goes to watch the movie with, Jacob, and her school friends. Where, Jacob, proposes for marriage to, Bella, but she rejects this, saying. She is her best friend and she cannot lose her friendship in place of relationship. Now, Jacob, says, noticing the condition of, Bella. That he will always be with her. He will never disappoint her. Now, Bella, notices that, Jacob, is heating up as he is suffering from fever. And, Jacob, goes away, ignoring everything there. And, Jacob, begins to ignore, Bella, from that day. And, Bella, was not understanding this why, Jacob, is doing as such. So, Bella, was not tolerating this so she goes to meet, Jacob. She notices, going there that, Jacob, has a haircut and he also engraved a tattoo on his arm. And he asks, Bella, to leave that place but, Bella, was not understanding this. Why is, Jacob, doing it all of a sudden? And, Jacob, talks with, Bella, roughly. And he asks, Bella, go from there after breaking up all relationships. As being hurt, Bella, goes to Meadows where she often used to go there with, Edward. She meets, Lauren, there who had come here to check this on the saying of, Victoria. That Cullens are still protecting, Bella, or not. And he begins to attack, Bella, finding her alone. At the same time, wolves come there and he escapes from there, saving his life. And, Bella, tells her father, going there that she has witnessed wolves. Now, Bella, goes to meet, Jacob, where she notices that Jacob's condition was so bad. And she begins to fight with his friends, going to them. In the meantime, his one of the friends is converted into a wolf. And he begins to attack, Bella. Then, Jacob, is also turned into wolf. And he saves, Bella. Now she comes to know this. They all are wolves and they hunt the vampires. And, Jacob, tells, Bella, that they have killed, Lauren. And they are after, Victoria. Contrarily, Bella's father goes to hunt wolves. At the same time, Victoria, comes there. A wolf attacks her silently, saving them. 
Aunt Bella had no knowledge about it that Victoria has returned. Aunt Bella begins to show her actions because Jacob was not giving her time. On the other side, many wolves were after Victoria. Victoria jumps from a high peak in order to save her life. On the other side, Bella also jumps. Victoria was going to reach Bella. Jacob saves Bella's life coming there. Then he goes to drop her. Reaching at home, they notice that there was Cullen's parked car. Alice is there to meet her when Bella checks moving inside the home. And she had seen this vision that Bella has tried to commit suicide. When Bella asks about Edward from Alice, then she tells that Edward does not talk to them too less. Meanwhile, Jacob comes there and Alice leaves that place as being angry. When Bella is talking with Jacob, then a phone call is received. This call was by Edward and Jacob says to him after picking the call that Bella's father is preparing her funeral. Now, Alice tells Bella coming there that Edward is going to surrender himself to Volturi the time he has heard your death news. So he may also be died. Volturi was the largest group of deadly and aged vampires. They go to Volturi when any vampire is expected to kill. Now, Bella moves to Volturi in spite of prohibition by Jacob in order to stop Edward. Now, Alice visualizes on the way that Volturi has forbidden to kill Edward. Now, Edward will appear before humans so Volturi Coven may kill him. Now, Bella runs to Edward so she may stop him. But Edward has appeared before everyone. But Bella takes him inside after embracing him before anyone sees him. Now, Edward gets excited seeing Bella alive. At the same time, Volturi's group comes there and they take both of them to Arrow. Now, Arrow knows that Edward cannot read the mind of Bella now. When he tries to read the mind of Bella, he fails miserably. And he says to a vampire to attack Bella there. So that they may know that Bella can control each power or not. But Edward appears in front of her and he begins to control of their given pain. But Bella receives no harm when they hurt her. Now they all understand this. That Bella is a danger for them so Volturi group decides to kill her. Edward becomes a shield before Bella when Volturi begins to attack her. And fight starts there but it was not easy task for Edward to defeat that vampire. When that vampire is going to kill Edward. Then Bella gets ready to sacrifice herself while stopping him. Now Arrow is shocked that a human is sacrificing herself for a vampire. Alice stops Arrow when he is going to kill Bella moving forward. Saying this that Bella is going to turn into vampire. And she has visualized that she herself will transform Bella into a vampire. Hearing this, Arrow lets them go from there. Now, Edward promises Bella that he will never leave her. Because he has understood this. That they both cannot live without each other. And Bella wants to turn into vampire. But Edward was still not willing for this. Then, Bella takes voting from Cullen's family. And all affirm this except, Rosalie. And Bella asks them to wait till her graduation. So that she may say a nice valediction to her father. When, Edward is driving. Suddenly, Jacob appears before him and he says to Edward. Wolves begin to hunt their family if they tried to transform Bella into a vampire. Bella says to Jacob, while stopping him, she herself wants this. On which, Jacob and Edward begin to fight. Bella says to Jacob that she is deeply in love with him. And she says to Jacob if she has to choose between Jacob or Edward. Then she surely will choose Edward. Being aggressive, Jacob leaves hearing this. Now, Edward says to her if she wants that he may convert her into a vampire. First of all, she will have to marry with Edward. After this, Seattle City is seen, which was not far from Fort City. Victoria attacks there on Riley, and she transforms him into a vampire. After it, Edward and Bella are again seen in Forks. Now, Edward was proposing Bella for marriage again and again. But Bella was so afraid because of the divorce of her parents. Bella thinks that marriage is only the name of documentation or nothing else. Bella asks him to change her into a vampire. 
but Edward puts this condition first that Bella will have to marry him before coming to house Bella's father also advises her that she should also meet with other people except Edward and Jacob needs her more he had supported Bella in her hard time now Bella needs to support Jacob Bella feels so regret on this and she calls Jacob now Bella tries to meet Jacob when she goes to meet him then she comes to know that Edward had damaged his truck so she avoids this he also says to Bella I don't trust in Jacob a wolf can do anything in rage next day Bella is chatting with all of her friends at the same time Alice visualizes something and Edward reads her mind but he does not reveal anything to Bella when Bella is standing with her father Meanwhile, Edward reminds her that her family has booked tickets for her. So, Bella may spend time with her mother before graduation, going there. Now, Bella goes to her mother. Now, Bella awards her a gift on her graduation. And she spends a good time with her mother. Victoria comes in forks to the house of Cullens. Then, Alice tells everything to all about her vision about Victoria. And all people go for the hunting of Victoria. Now they search for Victoria and chases her for her hunting. Now it was tough to chase Victoria. Now she had gone to the place of wolves. Wolves also begin to come after Victoria but no one is able to catch her. And Victoria runs from there. Next day, when Bella goes to school with Edward. Jacob is already there and he warns Edward, no vampire will step in their region for the next time. At the same time, Edward tells Bella that he had sent her to her mother for this cause. Because Alice had seen the vision of Victoria, Bella says to Jacob that he has been avoiding her for a long time. And she asks Jacob to rest in her. And she goes with Jacob to clear her misunderstanding. And Jacob explains to Bella too much that she may not convert into a vampire. But Bella tells him that she has taken this decision. At the same time, Jacob becomes rough with her. When she observes this that, Bella will not be convinced by him. Then he clears all the matters between them. On the other side, Riley detects everything going into Bella's house. Later, he takes Bella's shirt with him. And Riley does not harm Bella's father and leaves from there. After this, Bella's father becomes furious on Bella's late coming. When he comes to know that Bella was with Jacob. Then he does not say her anything then the door is knocked and Edward appears there. He had come to see Bella because he was worried for her. Then Edward knows that a vampire had come in the house of Bella. And Alice also does not know about this in her visions. Who was that vampire? But he tells this fact that she was not Victoria. Then Cullen's family decides this. That they will guard Bella's house because they had a fear of this that Victoria is making a great plan. Now, Bella also takes the help of Jacob. Now wolves in morning time while vampires at night guard Bella's house. Now, Edward goes for hunting, leaving Bella with Jacob. And Jacob brings Bella in a council meeting. And Jacob's father tells a story to all. How tribe's leader had rescued his tribe while confronting vampires how his wife had given a chance to herself while sacrificing, that she may kill vampires and wolves fight with vampires is going on from that time. The scene shifts to Riley, who is gathering fresh vampires on Victoria's orders, so that he may take revenge from Cullen's family of the death of James. And the death news of people on social media was increasing day by day. Now Cullen's were so worried on this so they decide, they will move to Seattle and know who are these people, Bella's father is seated while opening the file of Riley when Bella returns to home. Because Riley's parents were visiting to know about him again and again. Bella says to her father that Riley's parents should forget him now. And his father replies her that he may do the same if he was at the place of Riley's parents. Hearing this, Bella is again indulged in a great thought. And Edward takes the advantage of this and he forbids Bella that she may not turn into vampire. When Bella again comes to Jacob on coming day then he also tries to explain her that. And Jacob tells Bella she will never feel the need to transform if she accepts his proposal. Now she will have to go far from her family. 
when, Jacob, comes to drop, Bella, at home. Then, Edward, shows his rage towards him, coming there. When Bella's father asks the reason behind this, witnessing this. Then, Jacob, tells him that he himself is the cause behind this. He had tried to be impolite with, Bella. When, Bella, comes the house of Cullens. Then, Rosalie, leaves that place after being furious on her sight. When, Bella, asks, Rosalie, why does she despise her much? Then, Rosalie, tells, Bella, she does not despise her but feels so ill for her. Because if she had an option to choose to be human or a vampire. Then she preferred to be human but, Bella, is doing wrong. Then, Rosalie, tells her story, how her friend had left her on the road, showing impolite behavior. Then, Mr. Cullen, transformed her into a vampire after seeing her. But, Rosalie, took her revenge but she could not attain the state of human life again. Now Volturi group arrive there because of the spread blood in town and newborn vampires. Now they leave them there in spite of killing them. They wanted to know, why is this new army being built? Contrarily, there was going on a party regarding the success in graduation at Cullen's home. And, Jacob, also comes there on the call of, Bella, there. At the same time, Alice, visualizes something there and she tells everyone that. Riley, is approaching to attack, Bella, accompanying with newborn vampires. She does not know, who is behind all of these actions. But a terrible fight is going to occur. Now, Jacob, was also there. He gets ready to support Cullen's family for Bella's protection, knowing it later. When, Bella, stops, Jacob, then he keeps her mouth shut, saying so. That, Bella, wanted this that wolves and vampires work together as being united. And it is happening the same. And wolves are also ready to help Cullen's family. Then, Bella, has a nightmare where she sees that. Victoria, is behind all factors. She tells, Edward, that, Victoria, is responsible for all matters. She has taken a side after building a new army. So that she may make an attack on me. Then, Jacob, moves to a forest, taking, Bella. So she may know about this, either Bella's fragrance is there or not. And their plan is succeeded. On the opposite side, Alice, permits from Bella's father to stay with her, telling a lie. Bella, meets with, Edward, when she goes to Cullen's home. And she wants to stay with him but, Edward, proposes her for marriage at first. And, Bella, accepts Edward's proposal of marriage. The scene moves to, Victoria. Where she was flirting, Riley, to entrap him. Saying this, she sends, Riley, alone to fight. On the other side, Bella, is seen who was smearing her blood on the different places. So the newborn vampire's army fight on that place, following the marks. That is best for Cullens and the wolves. After this, Jacob, takes, Bella, to the peak of the mountain. Where, Bella, will be secure. Jacob, and, Edward, stay with, Bella, at night. And, Bella, feels so cold because of the storm at night. In the same way, Jacob, is so heated because of being wolf. He makes Bella's temperature normal after hugging her. Later, Bella, nods off. Now conversation is held between, Jacob, and, Edward. Jacob, says to, Edward. What will you do if, Bella, selects me? Edward, replies that, I will let, Bella, go. Next day, Bella, and, Edward, are talking about their marriage. Jacob, hears this and he becomes furious on, Bella. She explains to, Jacob, that she has much liking for, Edward. But she is unable to understand the deep connection with, Jacob. On the other side, newborn vampire army comes to, attack Cullens. Now, wolves, also appear for supporting, Cullens. And there is prolonged fight between two groups here. They were not only fighting here but also guarding one another. Meanwhile, Riley, knows that, Bella, is not there. He reaches, Bella, while searching for her. And, Edward, tries to explain, Riley, that, Victoria, is only using him as a tool. Meanwhile, Victoria, also arrives there. And she begins to assure, Riley, as she is deeply in love with him. When, Riley, is going to attack on, Edward, then a wolf attacks him, appearing there. Victoria, begins to flee but, Edward, stops her. There is great time fight between, Edward, and, Riley. Then, Riley, also comes to help, Victoria, after killing a wolf. Now they both capture, Edward, and they are nearly to kill him. 
In the meantime, Bella makes a wound on her hand and diverts their attention. Wolf kills Riley on this coming there, and Edward hunts Victoria, and he burns her body. Then they both move to Cullen's family. Then a left vampire there attacks a wolf. Jacob fights while saving him. He becomes so bruised. Then Alice has a vision in the meantime. Vulturi Coven is approaching there. Then they send the wolves back from there. Vulturi group soon warns them, coming there that they must convert Bella into a vampire soon. Otherwise, Arrow will not be good with them. Bella says to them on this. The date of transformation has finalized and she will soon be turned into a vampire. And, Mr. Cullen, treats, Jacob, moving there. Later, Bella, runs into, Jacob, who asks her to reconsider her decision. But, Bella, overlooks her all words and leaves that place. The ending is shown, where, Bella, and, Edward, were deciding their final marriage date. After this, the movie completes on this scene.